Yeah, I was taking my boys to the playground like around 6.30, like 6.15 and uh, it was still going like we saw some smoke but it wasn't that bad and we thought it was going to go out because uh, there were like firefighters up there and they were literally on the roof but we came back like after a couple hours and it was still going actually it was much stronger than the time we left and it's been like it's I guess 10.45 now it's been going for like four and a half hours now so it's been it's really bad yeah. My older one, he told me that his friend lives there next, like exactly the same apartment. And he told me that the building was on fire, which I already saw, but I was like, I hope he's fine. But they told me that they're in the community office now, so I'm glad they're fine. Yeah, I was just, I was just by the fire truck, like I didn't go too close. Um, but yeah, but my wife went to the community office to check on people and they're all fine. Yeah. Actually, when the fire started, they were literally on the roof and it was like still going. So I was like, I hope they're like, they're protecting themselves because it was like really bad at first. And then they were able to like put it out. But then I don't know what happened. Like we left, we didn't see that, but it was like, when we came back, it was just too much. Yeah. I saw flames around I think 6.30, don't quote me on it, but like it was like, I believe 6.20, 6.30 because that's the time we usually take our boys to the playground. So yeah, it was around 6.30ish, yeah. yeah. Oh, we just moved here like last year, but we know people from our building and like I said, like that kid lives in that building. We, my, my wife knows her mom, his mom. So yeah, not many people, but yeah, we know like a few, few here, yeah.